Good morning, boys and girls. It's Tim D back with another book review from the Machine and Krieger range. This is from Model Graphics Volume 2. As you see, my last uh, upload, I covered Volume 1. Um, just saying a big thanks to everybody that's been watching my um, new videos. Um, a few shout outs going out there to Mark, aka Solvent Abuse. What's up, bro? Been a long time, man. Um, <clears throat> Steve the Fish, Greg, um, David, Scale Hangar 182, um, Nick, um, Matthew, all the guys will be following me. Um, I know some of you are, are kind of happy that I'm back on YouTube again. So, uh, props to you guys. And like, again, thanks for the, uh, the support guys. Um, like I said, uh, I'm going to be making an update video soon. I'm just getting some of these book reviews out of the way and then I can um, get into like a one-to-one -one chat with you guys. So let's um, waste no further time and get into this second volume book. Um, again, I'm not going to go into every single bit here, but like, you know, this is the same as the other video that I made. So I'm going to kind of, kind of like go through this quite quickly. Um, I don't want to, you know, bore the shit out of you guys, but this one here on the first page is quite interesting. It's a fireball, but it's got like Nike shoes and stuff. It's got even got a Nike symbol on the side. That's pretty gnarly, man. That's pretty dark. I like that idea. Um, again, beautiful cover art here. Um, Honesse. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like this. It's a kit that I actually want to build. But I think I have the uh, original Nito kit. Do I? Or did I sell it to my friend? I think I sold it to my friend Thomas out in Hawaii. I'll have to get my hands on another one at some point one day. But it's a polar bear. I do have this kit, actually. This was actually um, <clears throat> a resin upgrade. Um, that was made about four years ago, and I forgot the name of the guy who did it. Um, but I do have this actual kit with the upgrade, um, which I'm actually thinking about de-stripping the paint and doing it and starting again. Um, I'll have to um, show you guys that one day. The Walrus. These, pho these photography shots are amazing. I believe this particular kit here was made by um, a guy out in Korea, a working holiday project, Chris. They actually had this for sale at the Wonderfest, um, which is a, a pretty interesting build. I don't know if that's 170A, is it? Oh, 176, that's right. Some uh, more pictures from Wonderfest back in the day oh we got the prowler now the prowler kit is actually one of my favorite kits um it's such a, a great design and i love like the radar and stuff like that wow 135th so well this is a bit of a big surprise and i kind of sound a little bit stupid now but the 135th range we were about quite a long while ago. As you know, uh, Kaido now make the 135th range. But these are actually toys, not model kits. Well, you learn something every day, guys. <clears throat> it's kind of weird how this actual magazine is constructed, though. I mean, a lot of it is like, uh, it's basically a mixed match of all the other model graphic magazine articles that are just condensed into one book like this so um it's the miscellane oh, that's nice it's a jungle scene there uh, if you guys have any comments on the videos please let me know um I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can actually see this quite well i mean i did check the um the videos and they seem like you can so the dollhouse i actually have this kit in resin it's a quite an old it's quite a rare kit actually that one a 
the Oscar. There's a vacuum press there of that chassis. The Conrad, the Henrik. Again, these kits, again, um, it's something I'll get in on about is basically um, these. Some of these kits here uh, are very, very um, slow to get released. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is. Um, most of these kits right now. Um, I mentioned this in one of my Facebook groups that basically, oh, there's a Nike one. That's, that's mad. <laughs> um, is that the pricing now for Mac kits is getting kind of crazy at the moment, especially for like the older kits and stuff like that, um, because Mac creates its kind of own pricing. I personally will not pay double the price for any of these out of uh, production kits um because i just don't think it's it's worth that price uh, as much as i want the kits i just you know i I'd, I'd rather spend my money on something else because obviously you know I, I build these kits. oh this is pretty that, that, that one's pretty cool that one that build i like that that's pretty cool. These are like the uh, the custom stuff, or maybe for um, competition or something like that. The um, modded ones. Well, that's that's neat, man. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I only sell and buy new releases because the prices are reasonable. They're not like double or more the price. And this is something that's kind of big. It's kind of like a big thing for the machining Krieger guys is is mainly price because people simply just can't afford to buy these kits because of the pricing unless you you've got lots of money and stuff. So I kind of disagree with the pricing. Um but like I said it just because of like the stock amounts and the availability that just bumps up the price of one twenty if fireball SG is pretty cool. So it is what it is, and it's it's unavoidable, man. Oh, they finally got the um, gladiator spot correctly. <clears throat> oh, the panda camp. Oh man, you know what's up with that? I wish I could build another Nixie actually. Ah, uh, oh, the kit that I want to be come back, which came back, was the uh, the leopard fireball SG. Uh, winter mute. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. For guys that know, right? For guys that know, uh, and this is something that let me just adjust that cap. Something that I'm going to talk about. On da this is what happened on David's channel. Scale one hanger one eight two. Um, we're going to talk about the uh, Imperial flag in, a, in another video, but as you can see here, we have it fully on this uh, Gladiator kit. By the way, that is an excellent build. Um, resin folks. It's kind of interesting to see some of the ones that I've got this book as well, Saf's. Kind of interesting to see oh, the missing. I love this kit. See, this is another kit. Cause these cause kits were repopped recently. Little upgrades. Remember, guys, making these Mac kits your own is really cool, really important. Don't just stick to box out all the time. I'm sure Cole Sensei likes to see things modded slightly. 116th Mac, Max Factory, wow. Raptor. 
Yeah, it's nice to see um, people um, switch things up a little bit. It's pretty mad seeing all this. Wow, look at that one. It's in uh, yellow and black, like industrial camo. Oh, I like this. Look at those upgrades, man. It's got like a little digger crane. Option. Look at look at the wiring, man. That's that's sick. That's just giving me loads of. I love that wiring on there, man. That is so dope. Giving me ideas already. How dope is that, man? Some cubic toys there. See, this is how new these books are. I've, I, this is probably the first time I've even opened this book, and I've had this book like over six years or five years. Still got the little tag in it. So you got these little books in there. Yeah, these toys are quite um, popular on Yahoo Walks. There's a lot of people dumping a lot of their Mac stuff off man, on Yahoo. M Cub, cool. Part of the Medicom. <laughs> that's dope man look at that it's like Star Wars or some shit it's a lunar dive but I like this one here yeah. that's pretty cool I am I'm having issues trying to show you guys up close like the picture I need to adjust my camera but I'll just swing that up a little bit there that might be better there you go <laughs> Or maybe even better, like me doing the review like this. I'm actually flicking through it and showing you guys. Yeah, that's better. Fleege. Yeah. It's pretty mad. There are some little bits and pieces in here that you can actually take because it's actually got like modded tips and tricks of how to do certain things. So, <clears throat> it's pretty mad. Powers. Okay. Like I said, let me flick through this kind of quickly, guys. This thing here is called White Dunk Evolution of Icon. That is sick. Look at that. It's got Nike shoes, man. <laughs> that's that's crazy I like it though it's so cool camel the lunar pawn oh wow how did he do that guy's floating ah oh, okay I see the wire now that's dope man Gans, which I still have to build. I mean, sorry, which I still have to paint. I've got one primed up, ready to go. Super Jerry, Oscar R6. So this winter, I will be... Let's see, look, this one. This is uh, called the Zer Stova. That must be one from... Uh, because concept drawing things. Wow. Okay. That is the kangaroo, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Which I know. Saito Heel has just repopped his and check his um, blog website thing i think um he's repopped some of his items so uh, they are for sale at the moment so not cheap but <laughs> spelling mistake here rainbow egg god who is <laughs> i think they need some proofreaders at the magazine but wow the cans i wonder if this was actually the actual original 
kit bash of it. That's pretty mad. <laughs> fuck, man. There's a fucking Michael Moore in here. What the fuck? Snake Eye for fuck. That's Michael Moore. What the hell? <laughs> that's, that's nuts. That is cool. That is dope. I'd love one of these. I'm digging the Michael Moore thing, man. That's that's cool. I like that. That's really neat. The F F boot. Like some kind of like hovercraft. <clears throat> okay guys, let me quickly go through this. Because I have one more to do. And yeah, as you can see, this just a lot of information about <clears throat> events and exhibitions. The Airfest Night Stalker. This is a kit that um, that is kind of rare at the moment. Um, six years ago, I actually um, they were on sale. There were lots of auction bids back then that kit but they're, again they're, they're not cheap now they're fetching some money well these are pretty cool so like i said guys if you find a mac kit uh, uh, you, you know that's a pretty cool build there if you find these kits um, in a sale, in a gar in in a Gary sale, someone's getting not rid of the, uh, getting rid of their their stash or whatever, and you can get these in a decent price. Man, sit on it, you know, because like I said, they are oh, that's pretty neat. Um, they are gonna fetch money, and these kits are slowly getting harder to get even now. Group of hunt, which I have painted and need to finish off for a video for you guys. Um, oh, the um, Safs Mark 3 AR, AAR8. I know Saito Hill has this kit with them with the upgrades again, very expensive. Again, Liberty Walker, you bastard. I think you got mine. Um, which is a whole nother thing. I have to question some things about in pricing <laughs> about with these kits, but that's a whole nother video. The Gustav. So as we get into the latter end here, I think we're at the end nearly. <clears throat> oh, wow. Look at that. That's neat. So like I said, I've, I've been trying to explain to you guys. It's, and even in my own Mac group, which you can join on Facebook, which is the M-A-K um, work group. That's what my group is called. And it's specifically, I spelled vehicle wrong. Um, it's specifically, my group is specifically a group that is um, just for people sending their work in progress their finals this work it's not a group where you post pictures of your stash or pictures of like how many kits you bought or the insides of a box there's no ads there's no junk there's no memes there's no bullshit really it's just a group dedicated to people sharing their work and giving tips and advice um and it's growing i'm i think i'm one of the biggest groups out there on facebook um so please join guys and oh by the way we've got michael's um uh, machine nation studio which i need to do a review on and actually i might do that today um so guys thanks for watching i'm gonna be doing the last volume and I have maybe six or more books of Mac to review. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to click that like button and subscribe, share. And you guys have a nice day. Peace.